Hi, my name is Simone. Hi, my name is Andrea. And we have a design studio in Amsterdam called Forma Fantasma. Forma Fantasma means ghost shape or ghost form. It is really a reference to the way we work, you know, that we don't start from sketching a form. So the form is all, almost a phantasma, a ghost, because it comes in at the end of a process. Since the beginning, we applied that with the idea of working as a team, and we graduated with just one uh, project that was called Modern Tradition. Modern Tradition was a project about Sicilian folkcraft, and it is a work that questions the relationship we have with local culture. So it is not just about designing new products, but actually also looking at the influences of migration flows and the impact they have on production. Our approach is very conceptual and we are very interested in material investigations. So our method, uh, it's organic because, again, it's fruit of two person. I would say that, of course, there is always one that probably has the first idea or the first glimpse, but after it's just about, you know, like, me and him discussing, collecting images, collecting inspiration. So it's always about, no, we don't have any rule, particularly rule in how we work together. I think it's literally organic, yeah. it's like a plant. So you always have a seed, which is the idea, and then you know, it starts to grow. And when something grows, it opens up in different ways. And then you know, we collaborate with people, we do research, then we also work directly in the studio with materials. And then all these informations which are in, in the beginning opening up, suddenly because we are the one at the end taking the decision, yeah, we, the we are <laughs> filtering this, and then it goes back to one Core, which is the outcome. But this is why it is also organic. We let it, we let it grow. The Love Project was something that we started a few years ago as investigation. But, uh, well, let's say that we finalized in the last year and a half. Most of all because, you know, it's a kind of really expensive uh, research to, to work with. We have been always fascinated by the volcano. I come from Sicily, you know, where, you know, the Etna volcano is really, is really a, a big presence in the island. And you know, every time this really great volcano erupts, you know, like you see debris everywhere, like they are in your house, in your bed, yeah, in your hair, everywhere. So we always have in liked that material, that material, because it's something that, you know, once you can predict, you can really easily find it everywhere. A lot of our work is really about starting from also very naive observations, but we mm. truly believe that naivety is actually a great starting point, actually, to design. A lot of the time, you know, the past is often seen as a source of inspiration visually. But that's not only the point, there's actually uh, important knowledge back then. Sometimes because we discard things, we think they're not useful anymore. But that's a very um, narrow-minded idea. I think it comes from the fact that we learn that evolution in nature works in a certain way. So, you know, we cannot go back to the past in nature, we cannot have the dinosaurs back, to make it very clear. But, you know, the man-made technique and which everything has been made by a human, that can always be revisited because we know how to do that. So I think there is a lot of things that we uh, lost that not because of nostalgia, but because they're great, we can uh, understand and see as designers if they have a meaning in the contemporary time.